Hello everyone, welcome to Chemazon Complete Chemistry. So in our today's video, we are going to learn and discuss some of the previous year questions on RS nomenclature in cumulines and biphenyls which were asked in different entrance exams. So here is a question from NEE 2016 paper, which of the following biphenyls is optically active? So here you have given uh, four different biphenyl molecules and you have to identify which of the following molecule is optically active. So here you can see, uh, first we have to apply our chirality condition for biphenyls that, that is out of the four ortho positions, at least three or all of the four ortho positions should be substituted with larger groups like carboxylic acid, nitro group or bigger halogen groups like iodine and bromine. So in option A here you can see only two ortho positions are substituted. In option B you can see again there are only two ortho positions substituted and option C none of the ortho position is substituted and in option D you can see all the four ortho positions are substituted with bigger groups like bromine and iodine. So our correct answer for this question is option D. Here is another question from JAM 2014 paper, which one among the following molecule is chiral? Here you can see there are three cumuline molecules and one biphenyl molecule given to you and you have to identify out of these four molecules which of the following molecule is chiral. Let us see the first option. Here you can see our first chirality condition was that on one particular side of an allene molecule two similar groups should not be present but here there are two chlorine groups which are same so a plane of symmetry will pass through this molecule and make it a chiral in the second molecule you can see that the terminal groups although they are different on a particular side but you can see that there are three odd number of double bonds so we had already studied that in cumulines with odd number of double bonds a molecular plane passes through the molecule cutting all the atoms into equal halves so this molecule is again a chiral let us see the third option here you can see that on one particular side there are different groups on either side of the allene molecule also there are even number of double bonds so this is a chiral molecule and this is your correct answer let us also see option d here you can see that two ortho positions are similarly substituted with chlorine atoms. So here a plane of symmetry will pass through this molecule and make it a chiral. So our correct answer for this question is option C. Here is another question from gate examination from year 2010. The absolute configuration for the compounds X and Y respectively are here you are given two compounds one is a biphenyl molecule another is an allene molecule you have to find out the absolute configuration for the both these molecules so let us see molecule x if you look this molecule from this dog's point of view you will see that this methyl group is at your right and ethyl group on your left oh in front of your head and hydrogen atom down so accordingly from 1 to 2 to 3 it is anti-clockwise so the absolute configuration is s we had already learned that the groups coming towards you or nearer to the observer gets the first and the second priority that's why we have given methyl and the ethyl group as one and second priority according to the atomic number and the groups hydroxyl and hydrogen which are away from you will get the third and the fourth priority let us see the second molecule from this dog's perspective again. Methyl is straight in front of his head, hydrogen down. This hydrogen molecule is on the right hand side and the bromine atom on the left hand side. Accordingly, you can see from 1 to 2 to 3 it is clockwise and the absolute configuration is R. Remember that these two molecules looks like Fisher projection formula but they are not Fisher projection formula so the rules of Fisher projection formula are not applicable here so our correct answer is option B here is another question from Gay 2005 paper binaphthol or BNP is this is a binaphthol molecule that we had discussed in our last video it is asking that binaphthol is an optically active compound with R configuration, an optically inactive compound, a meso compound, an optically active compound with S configuration. 
let us understand the chirality conditions whether they satisfied or not here you can see on this naphthol ring one group is hydroxyl group another is carbon that is there are two different groups here again you can see one is hydroxyl and another is carbon so this molecule satisfies the condition for chirality in binaphthol molecules so obviously the option b and c are incorrect what is a meso compound we will learn in the coming videos so it is an optically active compound so we have to now find out whether it is r configuration or s configuration let us see the solution so this is the example that was given to you let us see this molecule from this cat's perspective you can see that this oh you can imagine this oh as your left hand so h on the left this carbon on the right this oh straight in front of your head so up and this carbon at the bottom so the groups oh and carbon of this ring will get the first and the second priority as it is close to the observer so 1 to 2 to 3 you can see the absolute configuration is anti clockwise so the correct answer is optically active compound with s configuration thank you so much